Good morning, guys. I'm over here at 2809 Butler. Uh, I just drove around a little bit of the neighborhood, and it's older. Uh, and I took some video, so I'll send that over to you uh, in the messaging app as well. But all in all, it looks like a great house. Uh, they upgraded everything. The only thing that you may want to do is throw, obviously, a condenser in that we talked about to give yourself some AC in here as well as some lights in the garage. Because as of now, there's no lighting in there, but uh, you'll see that. And then the neighborhood in, in general looks fine, even though it's a little older. Just the one neighbor to the right, they've got like their boat on the street, their uh, older car out there under the, a little tarp out there. So that's pretty much the only one who's, you know, not really taking up, up keeping their stuff. Uh, but now I'm, we're standing at the entryway here. You got your living room and fireplace here. Uh, it is gas. So you've got pretty much all of the common area stuff to our left and then bedrooms here to our right. So we have the master at the front of the house. And they, like I said, using this, they were using this as an Airbnb, so they've got all their extra uh, stuff here for the guests. But it's all upgraded. You know, they got all this flooring here. You've got some separating of the boards there. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Small closet in here, so that's where you might have to get creative uh, in terms of where everything goes. So that's a very small master closet there. So Sophia, I think you're gonna have to probably take two closets, I would think. Hell, I would need two closets. Oh, go. There's the second bath here. Again, all upgraded. Here's a second bedroom. I mean, the closet's even bigger in here than the other one. And then the third bedroom. And what they did, it looks like, they took the doors and the top part of the wall enclosure off. So you guys may just want to finish that in again. Some storage here. Going back through the living room. It's all pretty open. For the most part, you've got this wall here, but that's that's the exterior wall uh, where it originally was. So they had to run a beam up here and they cut a little bit out there. So that's about as open as it's gonna get right there, unless you wanted to do a whole run all the way across. That's gonna cost a fortune. Here they put it's like that quartzite, the quartz or quartzite countertops in, all these cabinets, solar tube there, all can lights throughout, uh, except for the sunroom, which you'll see there. But it's big. And the dining room here, not really pressed for space. The bedrooms are a little small. And they use most of that square footage out here, so depends on if you like that or not. We'll run to the garage real quick. I had to open the garage. Again, there's no lights in here. And then finish off this wall as well. This side's already done. Got the back side of the fireplace here. And just finish that wall in and you're good. Washer and dryer out here. And that just goes to the side yard. So they've got that cash offer that's close to 800, it's the higher end of the range there. And it's 1344, 1344 square feet just to here. So all of this sunroom is not included in that. And this is easily, um, probably 15 by, at least 15 by 20. So it's another 300 square feet. You've got a little bit of, if you're going from the foundation pour over here to my left, the main, like when the house was originally built, 
to, they had to build up a pad over here. So you've got a little bit of a hump here at the transition that I'm feeling. There's some of the boards you can hear them squeaking and they're kind of pulling up. So it may be beneficial just to pull this, you know, a couple of the ones here off and to see what's going on under there. It's probably so that it's not, you know, as level with this side. So when they poured the one out here, yeah, it's just not, not on the right level of the rest of the house. Sunroom's nice. I mean, you get a lot of light in here, even though it's, it's kind of overcast right now. But you're still getting a good amount of light in here. We'll go outside. Go out to the left side of the house. Do horseshoe pit, bocce, cornhole, whatever you want on that side. And then a good sized yard. Pretty basic here in the middle, but you can do pretty much whatever you want with it. Now coming in, you go down this kind of big hill here, if you can see it straight out in front of us. So you come down that hill and then on the other side of that road is mostly, it's a lot of that industrial. Uh, but luckily all these trees here really block like at least 80% of that out, so you wouldn't even be able to see it from here. You just got view of the hills for the most part. You can kind of see a little bit of it over there, but yeah, the majority of it's blocked out. Fire pit on this side. This pergola here looks, you know, like it's been through the ringer. I can see some at least a few of those top slats that have termite damage, so I'm you know, sure that's going to have a lot of a lot of termite issues. But you know, we'll get a termite inspection to see exactly what's going on. And this will get replaced the windows for the most part as well. Uh, yep, dual pane, dual pane. Back here, it's not. It's it's definitely more of a cheaper type of construction you'll see this isn't really stucco it's like a I don't know what that material is it's it's like a dense not plastic but kind of polymer just like siding that they did must not have been exactly level with the other one. That's it. And then I got video driving from the five in here for most of it as well. Oh yeah, you're really close to the beach. And that's the that's the draw of this one. So I'll get all this stuff over to you as quickly as possible. And when I send over the video it'll probably still be uh, processing. So you know, check it out when I send it over, but the quality will probably be not as good. And as YouTube keeps processing the video, uh, that will go up to like 1080 and then almost 4K. What's half of that? 2K? Oh, yeah, that's it. Let me know what you think. And then if we want to put an offer on it, we're going to need to do so quickly. Because like I said, they've got that cash offer that if they don't, uh, we don't put anything in that's higher, then they're likely just going to go with the, cash offer. So give me a call after you take a look and we'll go from there. Thanks.